embracing. And a nice big jump into the ocean for the recovery <laughs> crew, completing their rigging operations. And Dragon Freedom being lifted onto recovery vessel Shannon. I love that they mentioned to brace for the lift. Yeah. <laughs> you could see that the vehicle is, is moving and swaying a little bit, yeah. but I'm sure it's it was nothing compared to re-entry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. The crew's had a lot of dynamic operations associated with today, and this is one of the final ones. There's a few more that have to go into play before they're back on land. Um, but this, this moment of getting them finally back out of the water and into this nest situated while they're comfortable um, is a wonderful moment for the AX3 crew. And a great choreographed lift there. And there is the hatch opening. Welcome home, crew of AX3. Now that that side hatch is open, they are going to put in. And we can see Walter coming <laughs> out of Dragon, having some assistance from ground crews. Visor up. Awesome. And, I, and I do think I see a smile on that face. <laughs> it's an 18 days aboard the International Space Station. So we're taking our time and making sure that he is comfortable and making sure that he's going to be safely egressing the vehicle. Welcome home, Marcus. And again, visor up, and I think, of course, we're <laughs> going to see Marcus smiling. Yeah, we are. Okay. There we <laughs> go, some waves. And our third egress of the day, we have Alper Izarache, the first Turkish astronaut to fly to space. Alper is looking good. He's excited. He's excited. He's ecstatic. He's happy to be home. He's given excellent smiles and a great fist bump there. I love to see that. Gria. And even with that <laughs> frequent flyer card, MLA is no stranger to this maneuver, but he is also taking his time and he is looking good. And welcome back, MLA. 